Hey everyone, it's Stephanie Garcia, and this is the Art of Becoming series, where we talk all about the journey between where you are right now and where you want to be, and all the stuff that has to happen in between to get you there. If you're ready, let's get started. Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? So I posted something on Instagram the other day that I feel like after I posted it, I thought, you know what, it'd be something really good to share with all of you because I feel like it's something that we can all relate to. It's really quick, really short, really simple, to the point, um, but it has everything to do about being present. We hear about it all the time, right? On social media, they tell you the one thing, just be present, just be in the moment, um, just be in the here and now. And I think many of us struggle with either knowing what that means or knowing how to do it, um, or even trying to be present in the moment, and for some reason feeling like you just can't get into it. You just can't, just try as you might, just can't get in there. So what I shared on Instagram, I feel you might be able to relate to, or it might be able to help you in those moments when you're feeling like you just can't get in there, All right? So hope you enjoy it. Here it goes. So I wanna talk about something that happened to me that I hope by sharing it with all of you, you will find it some way useful. So it was Thanksgiving night and I, the family had all left and I was doing the dishes. And for some reason, I kept feeling this feeling like I had missed out on something, that something was missing. And it was such an odd feeling. But I just kept feeling like I had missed out on Thanksgiving. And I thought that was really odd because, you know, I was there. <laughs> I was eating the food. I was interacting with everybody. But when I had a moment to myself, I just kept feeling like I was missing. I missed it, right? I felt like I wished that I could have done it over and this time be more present, be more in the moment. I couldn't shake that feeling for a while. I was trying to figure out why. And then all of a sudden it hit me. I had spent most of the day preparing for Thanksgiving. I was making the food, I was cleaning the house, I even painted my cabinets because I wanted things to look a certain way and I wanted my family to feel a certain way, right? Um, I wanted to create an experience. And you know, when the food was served, I was thinking things like, I hope the turkey's not dry, I hope um, I did it right, I hope that they can feel the love. I want them to have this kind of experience. I was, think I was hoping that they liked it. In other words, perfectionism was present. People pleasing was present. A need for validation was present. But I personally, who I am without those things, was absolutely not present. And it really was a big aha moment for me. I feel like it was really good information to have as we move into the holiday season, but I feel like it's useful at any time in our lives when we either need to be or want to be in the present moment. You know, that being said, sometimes you want to be present and it's hard to be present. I think by me having this information now, I feel like I have a tool that it can help me to understand how better to move into the present moment. And I can't say that every single time it'll be easy for me to just move into the present moment when all those things are present. But what I'm learning and realizing is that we can't be present when those parts of us are taking center stage, when those things are driving the bus. We need to, it's best to what I'm realizing is, is that it's best to at least acknowledge that those things are present. We may not be able to remove them completely, but we don't have to let them drive the car. We don't need to let them steer the ship, so to speak, right? What was happening was that I myself was in the back seat and those things were in the front. What I needed to do was reverse that. And so I share that with you today in case you also maybe had the same experience or as we move into the holiday season or in any moment in your life, we can at least take a moment to recognize what's happening 
and make sure we put things, at least just acknowledge it, accept that that's what's going on and do our best to get back into the driver's seat. So hope this is helpful. Um, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving holiday and best wishes for the holiday season. You all take care. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you'd like, share this episode with a friend. That way we can get it into the ears of the people who need it the most. You can also visit my website at theartofbecoming.me. While there, you can go ahead and download my guide, Own That Shit, Three Ways to Own Who You Are, Own What You Do, and Own It Out Into the World. Thank you again so much for listening, and I'll speak to you soon.